Welcome back, book lovers. Today we're diving into the brilliant mind of Nobel Prize winning psychologist Daniel Kahneman and his groundbreaking book, Thinking Fast and Slow, if you want to understand how your brain works and make better decisions. This book is a must read. Let's get started. In Thinking Fast and Slow, Kahneman takes us on a fascinating journey through the two systems that drive the way we think. Let's break it down. First, we have System 1. This is our fast, automatic and intuitive mode of thinking. It operates effortlessly, making quick judgments based on instinct and experience. System 1 is great for quick, everyday decisions, but it can also lead to errors and biases. Next, there's System 2. This is our slow, deliberate and analytical mode of thinking. It kicks in when we need to solve complex problems or make important decisions. While System 2 is more accurate, it's also more effortful and can be easily fatigued. Now, let's talk about some key concepts from the book. Kahneman introduces us to cognitive biases, which are systematic errors in our thinking. For example, the anchoring effect where we rally too heavily on the first piece of information we encounter. Next up is prospect theory. Kahneman and his colleague Amos Tversky discovered that people value gains and losses differently, leading to irrational decision making. Essentially, we fear losses more than we value gains. Finally, let's talk about the experiencing self and the remembering self Kahneman explains that our experiencing self lies in the present while our remembering self looks back at our experiences and constructs a narrative. This explains why our memories of an experience can be very different from what we felt in the moment. So what can we learn from thinking fast and slow? Here are three actionable takeaways. First, be mindful of your cognitive biases. Recognizing them can help you make more rational decisions. Second, don't be afraid to engage system two, especially for important decisions. Take your time to think things through. Third, reflect on your experiences and distinguish between how you felt in the moment and how you remember them. This can help you make better choices in the future. That's a wrap on thinking fast and slow by Daniel Kahneman. If you found this summary helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more book summaries. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and happy reading.